What's up guys, Joe Snow right here. Today I have something very cool for those who are jailbroken and want to restore their phone, I mean to refresh their phone, to clean everything, to wipe everything, but without uh, getting an update, without updating to a newer iOS version and losing their jailbreak. So if you want to, for example, you are on iOS 9.1 and you are jailbroken and you want to clean your phone. So you want to wipe everything, every tweak, every Cydia profile you installed, anything you installed regarding the jailbreak, but you don't want to update to iOS 9.3.2 because you will not be able to jailbreak again. In, in this case, there is an application created by Coolstar called Semi Restore 9. This application is compatible with every device. The only condition is to be jailbroken in order to get uh, OpenSSH. And yeah, you need to be on iOS 5.x to 9.1. So it works for the latest jailbreakable firmware. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to clean your device, how to restore your device without losing the ability to jailbreak because you will still remain on iOS 9.1, but it will remove Cydia and every tweak you installed. So you will get the iOS 9.1 or the version you are on completely clean so you can re-jailbreak again using Pangu. Let's just go on. At first you need to make sure you connect your device. I don't have a 9.1 device but it's not a problem because I have my, my iPhone 4 right here which is jailbroken on iOS 7.1.2 and Semi Restore is compatible with 7.1.2 as well. But before you start it, you download this pack but before you start the application keep in mind that you have to install something in the terminal Otherwise, it won't work. The application will uh, stop. Open the README and here you will have exactly what is about this app. And here on the dependencies, you have to install JTK plus 3 and Live SSH 2. In order to do that, you simply copy what is quoted right here, go to terminal and simply paste it. Then press enter and you will install it. But in my case, it says that warning is already installed because I already installed them, but for you, it will start downloading. Everything is automatic. When it will finish, you will see something like this again. After that, what you need to do is to disable the gatekeeper. Who is gatekeeper? Well, it's a system, security system inside OS X. In order to do that, you need to click here on the uh, Apple logo system preferences, then go to security and privacy, open the padlock, click on the padlock. If you have a password, input it. There you go. And you will be something like this. You have to click anywhere and you allow, then the gatekeeper will be disabled. After that, you can open semi restore eight that I have right here. You click OK to this warning and it says semi restore for iOS 5.0 to 9.1. So every de device in this range of 5.0 to 9.1 that is jailbroken can be semi restored. So you, you lose everything jailbreak related and you get a clean firmware, but you are not updating. So you are able to jailbreak again. OK, I'm going to connect my phone. It says waiting. The procedure is simple after that. You simply connect the device, make sure it's not passcode locked, unlock it if it is locked and disable the auto lock. Then you see, you will see here device connected, in my case iPhone 4, GSM 7.1.2, you click semi restore and you will need to input your SSH password if, um, if it's required. In my case was not required, but if it asks you for your device password, you will simply write Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-I. Alpine. Okay, my phone restarted one time. It says running stage two, do not touch your device, and I'm not going to touch my device. Uh, it will restart automatically, then it will show the Apple logo with the progress bar exactly as on an iTunes restore. Keep in mind, do not use iTunes to clean your phone when you have tweaks or something like that that makes your phone work slower because iTunes will automatically update the phone. For example, if you are on iOS 9.1 and you are jailbroken, 
your phone will get updated to 9.3.2, which is the latest firmware, and you will lose the ability to jailbreak. Always use Semi Restore application. This application is also available for Linux and for Windows, and the website is down in the description where you can download it. As I said, the application doesn't have the credits on the interface, but I can tell you it was created by Coolstar. You can find him on Twitter. Okay, my phone restarted, it's already finished. And now, oh, it restarted again, but I, uh, I could see that it has um, the official image for the uh, lock screen, that one with the stars from the uh, 7.1.2, so everything is wiped. Every settings, every tweak, every application you installed from Cydia and something like this. Okay, my phone restarted and probably is everything okay. It says do not touch your device. Let's see what happens. Probably it will restart again or something like this. Okay, it says do not touch your device yet. Hmm. Okay, so uh, it automatically disconnected me from my wireless uh, network, so it means that my network settings were um, wiped, were cleaned. Okay, let's, let's just wait for the application to finish its job. Okay, my phone started again, restarted, sorry, again, and it says semi-restore is complete. Okay, now you can close the application and wait for your phone to start. My phone still shows the spinning well, you probably know, the one that is being shown when the phone restarts or shuts down, but probably won't take very much until the, uh, the phone will boot up again. This time it seems to be restarting in... Um, uh, it's literally restarting, the that kind of restart that takes a minute or something like this. Uh, during the semi-restore process, when the phone restarted, it actually resprung. It didn't restart it. It simply showed the Apple logo and then back to the Springboard, back to the Apple logo and back to the Springboard. But now it simply uh, restarted, literally. So it means that everything was changed. I really want to see if I have Cydia on my screen or if it was wiped out. It would be good if it was wiped out because it means that you can now simply jailbreak again with Pango and install your favorite tweaks again without having the old ones that I don't know, got your phone broken or slowed your phone down. Uh, there could be a lot of reasons why you should simply restore, but if you have a jailbreak, you don't want to lose your jailbreak, but you still want your phone clean, and yeah, the semi-restore is the best deal for you. Okay, so my phone restarted, I try to see if I have Cydia. Uh, okay, I do have Cydia, so you don't have to jailbreak again, but every tweak I've installed in my entire life on this phone was wiped out. I, I no longer have any other tweak, anything that was related to Cydia, but Cydia is still here, so this is kind of cool. Okay, oh yeah, I um, I connected to my wireless uh, network again and Cydia asks me if I want to upgrade to Essential or Complete. So it's basically exactly the point where um, you restore your phone and you jailbreak it. So exactly that moment, uh, Cydia asks you if you want to install everything. Uh, I, I think I had um, AFC to add package installed, but now it was removed. So uh, it basically looks like, yeah, it, it, it looks like this application really does its job. So yeah, my phone is now running pretty smooth, pretty good. So there is no difference exactly as on a normal restore. Uh, it, including the um, wireless and the uh, Bluetooth icons on the um, on the uh, action center that are enabled by default after a restore. It's exactly the same behavior right here. So everything but Cydia got removed. Uh, I also had a few applications installed. They also got removed. Only Cydia got um, uh, kept. But Cydia got kept without any tweaks I installed and without any uh, repositories I add. So I have to add again my repository and I have to upgrade to Essential. Basically cleans everything out. This is basically it guys, as I said, semi-restore created by Coolstar. It's compatible with iOS 5.02, iOS 9.1, which means that 7.1, 7.1.2, 8.4 and so on are compatible as well, and you can use it for free on Windows, Linux, or Mac. I really hope this helps. 
uh, especially those who are on a jailbroken device but don't want to lose the jailbreak by restoring it. And yeah, if you think this application is useful, give it a thumb up for Coolstar and do not forget to tell me in the comment section down below if it's useful for you. Thanks for watching, I'm Jill Snow, you are watching FC365 iDevice Central channel. Till the next time, subscribe and share this video. Peace out.